People analytics is very crucial um, to creating great experiences because without people analytics, you have no data. I was once speaking overseas to a large organization and they were very much interested in investing in employee experiences. And we started talking and during the conversation, their chief HR officer said, you know, we have people here that stay for a very long time. The average tenure is around eight to 10 years. And I said, wow, that's great. How come? And he said, I don't know. People analytics, right? If people are staying there for eight to 10 years, you should know why. He also said, for some reason, when people do leave the company, they always happen to leave at the two year mark. And I said, well, that's really interesting. What happens at the two year mark that causes employees to decide, do they wanna stay or do they wanna leave? Again, his response was, I don't know, people analytics. This will help you truly know your people. And it's, it's a very crucial component to have. I'll probably do an entire course on people analytics in the future, but essentially, um, simple place to start, start small. Look at the data that you already have about your people. Engagement data, salary data, geographic data, where they went to school, um, performance review data. You have a lot of different things that you can already start to look at and get some smart people inside of your company, people either in finance or people that are good with numbers, and have them play around with the data and see what kind of correlations and see what kind of insights, insights they might be able to draw. That's a very simple place to start. See what you can learn from stuff you already have. Then, as you start to standardize your data and make it consistent across the company, you'll be able to do all sorts of really cool stuff in the future. Imagine, for example, five years down the road, you have an Amazon Echo device or some sort of voice activated device, and you ask it, hey, um, which teams are highest performing in my company? And just like that, it'll tell you. Or you say, I wanna build a new team in Los Angeles, give me yeah, 10 uh, prospective candidates who would be an excellent fit. Boom, just like that, you get the answer. So that is kind of the direction where we're going with a lot of this people analytics stuff, is we truly want to know, um, we truly want to understand our people. Uh, one quick thing I'll say about people analytics, there are some dangers. I don't wanna make it sound like all of your decision making should be based on data and algorithms. We still very much need that human component to be involved, so this is where we have kind of a good match of people analytics data and human decision-making power coming together to help um, truly design great experiences for your people. Intel actually does a very good job of this, as does Microsoft, as does Accenture, as does Cisco. Um, and again, a lot of these stories are actually put in my book, so you can go through that and you'll see some of the more detailed examples in there. Um, but again, start small, ask basic questions. How many people work here? What's the average tenure of the people that work here? And then you'll be able to start to get into more of the advanced questions over time. But again, I really, really wanna stress the importance building out a people analytics function and team. You cannot design employee experiences unless you have the data about your employees to actually do so. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Check out futureofworkpodcast.com for more content. And do me a favor, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or whatever your preferred channel is. Thank you.